Hisone Tomasotan is an anime about a special group of pilots in the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force that pilot dragons disguised as modern planes. In this video, I want to share some information about the aspects of the show that are adapted from the real Japanese Self-Defense Force. To be honest, the information I found isn't very crucial to directly impact your enjoyment of the anime, but hopefully it will lend an appreciation for the aspects of real life that inspire this original work. There are two parts of the video. First, I'm going to show the real-life location that the show is set in, and then after that I'll go through a brief history of the Japanese Self-Defense Force. Logically, I think it makes sense to flip the order, but I think people are generally more interested in the present-day stuff, so I'm putting that first. The show takes place at Gifu Air Base, which is a real military installation in Kakami Hagata City in Gifu Prefecture. I've included a link to the official website of the airbase in the description if you want to read more. There isn't too much information or fun content really, especially for someone who doesn't understand Japanese, because in contrast to the often incompetent cast of the show, as you can expect, the actual people at Gifu Air Base take things quite seriously and are quite professional. There is, however, one fun, notable, public-facing aspect about the airbase. Just like is shown in the anime, the airbase actually does host an annual air show. On the day of the air show, the base is open to the general public, and there are a number of events and demonstrations both around aviation, but also what appears to be other military demonstrations. The only other notable public information I found is that the airbase is home to the Air Development and Test Wing, which handles development and testing of new systems for the JASDF. Now onto the dragons and airplanes themselves. All of the OTFs, or Organic Transformed Flyers, have disguised forms, which are models of real Japanese aircraft, all of which fly out of Gifu Air Base. Masutan is a Mitsubishi F-15J. Another dragon which doesn't have a nickname and has only been identified by its plane model is a Mitsubishi F-2A. Both of these are fighter jets. Futomoto is a Kawasaki C-1, a transport aircraft, and a Kemi is a Northrop Gummin E-2C. By the way, the disc on the top of the E2C is a radar dome that contains antennas for long-range sensing capabilities such as weather surveillance. Mitsubishi, the company that makes the F-15J and the F-2A, is most commonly known as an automotive manufacturer, but they also are a very large defense contractor under their heavy industries division. Mitsubishi was actually founded in 1870 and was one of the biggest zaibutsu or business conglomerates in pre-war Japan. In fact, it produced the Zero fighter plane that saw extensive use by Japan during World War II. The company was forcibly disbanded after the war, but were eventually allowed to reform under their original name. These post-war years are critical for understanding the Japanese Self-Defense Force. Entering to the history part of this video, I will say that this is introductory information, but if you don't know about it already, I think it's absolutely fascinating. It's a very unique situation. The Japanese Self-Defense Force is, as you can guess, a real entity, and it does represent the equivalent of military forces that other countries have. You might be asking, why is it called a Self-Defense Force? In the wake of Japan's surrender in World War II, the American government that led the occupation of Japan sought to introduce many reforms, including a new constitution. The new constitution, which passed through the means set out in the previous constitution, the Meiji Constitution, was written with the collaboration of American and Japanese leaders and lawyers. It passed through the Diet, the Japanese legislative body, and was approved by the Emperor and went into effect in 1946. The most important part of the Constitution for our discussion is Article 9, titled The Renunciation of War. It was originally proposed by Kijiro Shidehara, then Prime Minister of Japan and an advocate of pacifism. It's so unique and interesting and important that I think it's worth reading in full. Aspiring sincerely to an international peace based on justice and order, the Japanese people forever renounce war as a sovereign right of the nation and the threat or use of force as a means of settling international disputes. In order to accomplish the aim of the preceding paragraph, land, sea, and air forces as well as other war potential will never be maintained. The right of belligerency of the state will not be recognized. A pretty big statement to be sure. Now you might be wondering why the second paragraph doesn't prohibit having any military force at all. Indeed, until 1954, when the self-defense forces were created, Japan had only a small domestic police force and the security guarantee of the United States, which persists to this day, and no military capability of its own. The answer is a little bit complicated. It's a matter of legal interpretation, but the general idea is that while having a military which could threaten force against other countries is prohibited, it does not violate Article 9 to fight in a war of self-defense, hence the self-defense force. 
It should be noted that this section of the Constitution is quite controversial to this day, and there's many wrinkles and debates to be had right now and in the future about what it permits or disallows. So this is the legal context that Hisone Tomaso Tan takes place in. I suppose one thing that's interesting then to speculate about is what the OTFs were up to in the years following Japan's surrender since they were shown in service throughout Japanese history. It was probably a particularly leisurely decade for them. That concludes all the information I have. Again, not super relevant to your enjoyment of the anime, but I think it's really cool to understand the unique military circumstances of Japan and see the real-life versions of what's shown in the show. Thank you.